Greetings, Gamer Girls! I am Snell's Thing, also known as Complex and the Night, and welcome back to more Pokemon Green. Last time, we beat most of the trainers in the SSN. Ooh, excuse me. In the SSN. And today, um, I am going to. I am going to go over here. Oh, Captain is a sword master. He, he just cut the Pokemon. That's cool. Ahoy there, are you seasick? No, I feel fine. Mainly because I wasn't on the moving boat. Okay. Um. Wait. I just realized I should. I, in the last episode, I said something like, Swi We should switch to a Pokemon that can resist fighting. Bo both Nita Sight and Bulborg resist fighting. I don't know what I was thinking. Also, I don't know if that, um, if the health being, uh, displayed on the side of the screen is gonna get annoying to you guys. There's nothing I can really do about it unless I, like, de- unless I, like, decompile this cartridge or something like that. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to risk messing it up. I was just careless. My pa said there are a hundred kinds of Pokemon. I think there are more. There are more. I know. Does this guy also have a matchup? Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. Um, if you're talking about dancing, I guess, sure, we can dance. I'd like to know what kind of pirate music you guys like. I like how the matchup didn't get the critical even though it used the move with a high critical hit chance and oh boy, shelter. Well, this is gonna be annoying. See if we can get it with a uh, Xerxes. Oh, don't confuse me, please. I want Xerxes to get the experience. There we go. You're impressive. How many kinds of Pokemon do you think they are? 151. Scrubbing the decks is hard work. Ugh, I feel ill. I stepped outside to get some air. Stop staying aside, Celeste. The party's over. The ship will be departing soon. There was a party here? And Bill didn't tell me? If Bill told me there was a party here, then I definitely would have would have come a lot sooner. Ugh. Freaking... Okay. <laughs> what? No. Control sick. In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Snorlax. Um. Number 100. Backwards 73. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what it is with the triple numbers, but. Or triple digits, more like. Check out what I fished up. Let's see what you fished up. Goldeen. That's cool. You know, Xerxes, Xerxes is basically body slamming right into that huge horn. Xerxes grew to level 21. That does not look comfortable.
I'm all out. Party? The cruise ships probably should be over by now. You don't say. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. So he's gonna send out Pikachu. Oh man, the war begins again. Pikachu's back for revenge. Wow, it's actually outspeeding us. Oh gosh, no. Of course, now we get the critical. What is it with you guys and getting the criticals when all of the worst times? Good fight. Ah, I feel young again. We found a max ether that will restore all the PP of a move. Fucking control stick! I'm waiting for the compilation of how many times the control stick screws me over. Ah, uh, yes, I have seen some Pokemon fairy people across the water. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. Which do you like, a strong or rare Pokemon? I. I personally would prefer a rare Pokemon, because I can have both a strong and rare Pokemon. Should we, should we try to fight it with the Xerxes? Yeah, let's do it. Actually, maybe we should save the PP for the next battle after this. Not the girl that's in front of us. I have a, I have a better... I have... She's actually, um, going to be part of something special. Xerxes grew to level 22! Ponyta, um, Ponyta is a very fast fire type, and I don't want to, uh, send Xerxes out against it, because it's probably going to outspeed him. So let's send Nidoside out and use Water Gun. If you're wondering why I didn't use, uh, the Bubble Beam TM on, wow on uh, Neosite, even though I used it on Toxifa in Pokemon Red. That's because I have a better use for the, uh, for the, um, Bubble Beam TM. But that won't be for a little while. I must salute you! I prefer a strong and rare Pokemon, so we're alive. Um, we found a rare candy here. If you're wondering what that girl has, I think she just has a Pikachu in her team. Or, I think maybe she has some Nidoran, or, and two. But we're not going to fight her later yet. Um, she becomes important later. Me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. Have you gone to the Safari Zone, Fuchsia City? It has many rare kinds of Pokemon. Hmm, we'll have to check that out soon. I hear many people get seasick. The captain looked really sick and pale. Well... Let's go see the captain. Let's see what he has to offer us. Oh, why, hello there. Bonjour, Green. I imagine seeing you here. Green, are you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. So, next battle with Yellow here. And in Pokemon Red, I actually forgot to mention his Pokemon's movesets, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna pin a comment in that, in that video. Okay, like I said before, he's always going to start off with his Pidgeotto. Um, I don't even, actually, I don't know if I mentioned that, but. Here we're really has to say, um, so blue's Pidgey, I mean, yellow's Pidgeotto, um, normal flying type, level 19, with the moves Gust, Sand Attack, and Quick Attack. I don't know if it'll outspeed Xerxes, but, oh, no, nope, Xerxes is faster. Ooh. Yellow's Raticate, um, normal type, level 16 with the moves Tackle, Tail Whip, Quip Attack, and Hyper Fang. This is not the same Pokemon that he used in in, in uh, Cerulean City. This Raticate is level 9 16. That, and Rotata evolves at level, um, 
uh, 20. So this is a completely different Pokemon. He went really out of his way to find this, I think. Okay, up next. Yellow's Kadabra, um, Psychic type, level 18 with the moves Teleport with the moves Teleport, Confusion, and Disable. Oh. That could have potentially been bad, but we beat him. Xerxes grew level 23. And lastly, Yellow's Charmeleon. Level 20, fire type, with the move Scratch, Growl, Ember, and Leer. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, Xerxes is hung on like a champ. It reminds me of that um, Gen 7 battle I did once. I think I posted that. Hmph. At least you're raising your Pokemon. I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya! Um... How to Conquer Seasickness. The captain's reading this. Feel hideous. Erp, seasick. Green rub the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. <laughs> Thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my tuck technique? Tuck technique? Cut technique. Oh my god. I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know you can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon. You can see it cut anytime. We receive HM01. TM stands for technical machine, HM stands for hidden machine. Oh, gosh. Um... Cut! I'm going to teach that to ducks. Um, basically, cut is a 50 power, 90% accurate move, um, normal type. And I will be explaining in what it does later. Um... Now that I'm not sick anymore, sick, sick anymore, I guess it's time. Yuck, shouldn't have looked. Um, now is what I want to, we're going to do what I want to do with that girl. Basically, I want to lose to her. And I'll explain what, and I'll explain, uh, what this signifies really late in the LP. So, I will be right back. Never mind, I can't do it in this version because the, the, I can't do it because I am such an idiot and I didn't remember that I had to talk, that I wasn't, and I didn't remember that I wasn't supposed to talk, to talk to the captain and I was supposed to run and get the Pokemon that, that would lose to this trainer. I don't know why I can never remember anything. <sighs> Whatever. We'll do it in Pokemon Blue, okay? And I bet... And I better not forget in that version. The issue was the fact that I had to poison this Rattata, uh, Atta, because I had to, because Bulbor Benidoside didn't have any status moves, and, and the, well, we, well, she has a Pikachu too. Meaning that even if I did, meaning that even if I could, if I won, I did, meaning that Nidoside would have beat it anyway because it would use electric moves. The one time you actually want to lose the battle, you can't. I still find it kind of amazing that Nidoside actually got burned. Take it easy! Oh, I adore your strong Pokemon. Why, thank you.
The ship has set sail. Okay, let's teleport back to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal up, and then we're gonna do what we're gonna do next. So I'm gonna hop on my I'm gonna hop on my bike. Oh, first of all, let me go in here and let me buy um let me buy uh 15 repels. And I'll explain what these do in a second. Hold on, let me go um organize my inventory. Okay, on the way of where I wanna go next, I just wanna mention that I believe the PC box can hold about um 50 items, well, you yourself can only hot hold 20. Um, also, um, also, um, what technical machines I should mention are, are TMs are one use, but HMs are infinite. What a surprise, Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. Well, we are now in Diglett's cave, and there are two new Pokemon that we can find here. Let's go ahead and go to the computer and go over. Diglett. Diglett is um is a ground type, not the first ground type we can we can encounter. It is if we're playing um um it is if we're playing a uh, red version, or, or unless you um or unless uh, you have a Needle King or a Needle Queen like I do. And um and uh. Yeah, not for spoilers or anything, but the next gym actually M, uh, focuses on electric type Pokemon. So having a level 22 Diglett might not be the best idea if you're having trouble with it. Like maybe you don't, maybe you try, maybe you don't have, uh, you didn't start with Bul with Bulbasaur who can resist electricity, or you don't have a ground type like Needle King and Needle Queen, or if you started with Squirtle, then maybe you can, then maybe picking up a Diglett might not be the best idea, might not be the be a bad idea. But that other 5% is Diglett's Evolved Form, Doug Trio, and it is over-leveled as heck, 29 or 31. You know, I have, you know, I, I, what, what was I about to say? I was about to say something about Doug Trio, I completely forgot. I don't know, if you don't, I don't know, if you don't want to, um... If you don't want to raise a Diglett, you could also find a Doug Trio at this high level. Plus, its speed is blistering too. And also, can it, is Jay Witch the only one who thought who thought um, that Diglett's nose was a mouth when when he first saw it? I didn't, but Jay Witch did. But back to the computer. I mean, we're at the. Stop making that mistake. I don't want to want to catch a good Diglett quite yet, so I want to mention what a repel. I want to show what a repel does. When you use it, you can walk through a tunnel and you won't encounter any wild Pokemon. Um. Uh. With. Uh. Provided that the that the Pokemon that's that's trying to that's trying to appear is lower level than tw than uh the Pokemon that's out front. Looks like we're gonna encounter a Jug Trio here. Yep. I don't know if I want to try to catch it though, because um, were we even gonna be able to run from this? You know what? Let's try to catch it. Let's send Bulbarb out there and let's vine whip it and just hope it doesn't take it down. Well, actually, maybe better we tackle it a couple times. Uh, poison it. Alright, let's try the great balls. One, two, three. Oh, that was lucky. It's got a catch rate of 52. And we have caught our duck trio, a team of Diglett triplets. It trickles huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. Damn. Okay. We got our duck trio. Now let's keep her going. Let's take 
Hey, it's taking damage, unfortunately. I, could, I would use an antidote on it, but it would be a waste since it's not part of the team. I want a rock tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's flash could light it up. And this area should look familiar. Viglet's Cave. Um, I should mention something about Cut. Basically, you don't just use it in battle. If I click on ducks right here and hit cut in front of this tree, we can cut it down and we can go through it. Now, there is a certain requirements that you should have in order to use cut. Misty mentioned that if, it, that if you have the Cascade badge, you can use cut at any time in battle. If you did not beat Misty, you cannot use this move outside of battle. You can use it in battle, but you can't use it out of battle. And I could heal, but I'm not going to because as I want to teleport back to... The, Back to, uh, uh, Vermilion City, because we are in Pewter City! <laughs> Repels effect wore off. Yeah, that don't last forever. Um, I don't know exactly how many steps they take, but... Anyways, I'm gonna go over here, and I am gonna cut down this tree, so we can see what's back here. We are proud of two fossils of a very rare prehistoric Pokemon. You can't sneak in the back way. Oh, whatever. Do you know what an Amber is? Yes. There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect the ancient Pokemon from Amber. Shh. I think that this chunk of po Amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if a Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me. I have a f So I have a favor to ask. Take this to the Pokemon lag and, and get an exam. We received an old amber. We cannot. This now we will be able to do this at the same time as when we when we uh, do something with the helix fossil that we got from uh, from uh, Mount Moon. Okay, now what I'm gonna do? There isn't anything else we can do in Pewter, I don't think. So so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go down here in Route Two, and I'm gonna go into this house right here. A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut, so I'm guessing you're treating it like a toy? I don't know. I'm looking for an Abra. Want to trade one for Mr. Mime? Mr. Mime is definitely one of the more weirder Pokemon, but it's definitely very good. You can... Um, basically, you trade an Abra for it, and this is the only way you can obtain it, and... It's good special attacker, but not very good at, at um, physical defense. But it's a, but it's still a very good Pokemon, and I would highly recommend it if you want it. Also, um, I can't help to help to notice that the, that um, a lot of these this artwork that I'm using for the Pokemon Green Vials look very similar to the sprites. That's cool too. I would love to trade an Abra for Mr. Mu this isn't the correct Abra. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I think we're going to have to have to so put the Pokemon Let's Plays on hold because this is like the fourth time I have tried to get just tried to get the Pokemon out of the PC, and yeah, I might have to contact the guy who made this cartridge and just um yeah. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to put the Pokemon Let's Plays on hold, but I promise we'll get back to it eventually. So. We're gonna end this here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really hope we'll be able to continue again at some point. For now, just remember to smile. You're the face of Cole Collects 999 Gaming.